In this video, we learn to recognise and make use of simple scales on maps and drawings. I've got a map which I've printed off the internet. And what I would like to do is use this to work out the straight line distance between different cities. And the scale at the bottom says one centimetre represents approximately 30 miles. So that is the scale or the ratio. That tells us that one centimetre on the map is in actual fact 30 miles that's the real distance between the places so i will do the scale here i'll write the scale so we've got centimeters to miles so one centimeter is approximately 30 miles so I will start off by finding the straight line distance between Birmingham and Manchester. So I've drawn a straight line between the two cities. And I'll now measure using a ruler. What is the distance on the map? So starting from zero, this is 2.5. This ideally would be on the board when I'm bringing this closer to the camera so you can see it clearly. So it is 2.5. So that is 2.5 centimeters on the map. And we'll convert that to the miles in real life. So we'll look at how many ones fit into 2.5 and that is 2.5. So 1 times 2.5 gives us 2.5. So we'll do the same on the other side. So 30 times 2.5. What does that equal to? Now you can use a calculator to work this out. You can use any other method as well or you can use a mental method. So written or mental, I'll use the mental one. So I'll break this 30 into 3 times 10. So 2.5 times 10 gives me 25. 25 times 3 gives me 75. So that is 75 miles. So the distance in reality, approximately in straight line between Birmingham and Manchester is 75 miles. Now we'll look at another question using the same map. The distance between London and Cardiff in real life is approximately 144 miles. So again, it's the same ratio or scale. So centimeters, miles, we've got one centimeter, approximately 30 miles. So what we said was that the distance between London and Cardiff was 144 miles. So where does that go? That goes under miles. So we've got 144. Now we'll find out how many centimetres that is. So we'll look at them. What's happened to 30 to get to 144? So what did I multiply 30 by to get to 144? And how do I find that out? So I got 144 divided by 30. That should give me here 4.8. So I've multiplied 30 by 4.8 to give or to get 144. So I'm going to do the same to 1. So times 4.8, that gives me 4.8 centimetres. So 144 miles in reality is approximately 4.8 centimeters on the map so we found that the distance on the map is 4.8 so let's see whether that's the case so we'll draw a straight line between london london and cardiff and we'll measure it so we'll go That is, yeah, that is 4.8 approximately. 
So this has shown you how to recognize the scales, which are normally at the bottom of the map, sometimes at the top. So those numbers will tell you something. So this scale at the bottom, you might have it written here at the top as one to 30. So maybe one centimeter, 30 miles. And it means exactly the same thing. So look out for the units as well. If they have no units, that means you can use whatever unit you like and you need to keep it the same. So if this was just one to 30, the scale was just one to 30. That would mean that one centimeter on the map is 30 centimeters on the scale in real life, the actual distance. If you use meters to measure, which is very unlikely in a map, but if you have a very big map perhaps, so that if that is one meter, that's going to be 30 meters in real life. So you keep the unit the same. Whatever you're measuring it on the map, that's what the unit will be in the actual distance. So we'll now look at a drawing. So I'll show you a drawing of a room. So it's like a map. Of the room, a plan of the room to be more accurate. So this is the length of it. Is it eight point four in fact? So Uh, 8.4 and the width is 6.8 we'll show it approximately on the board so that is 8.4 well, so this was 8.4 centimeters and the width was 6.8 centimeters. The actual scale is one centimeter on the plan is equal to 50 centimeters in the room in reality so how many centimeters is the length and the width of the room in reality how do i do that how do i work it out so let's have a look at the length. We're saying, so this is the plan and this is real life. So we go looking at the length, it's 8.4 centimeters in the plan. So 8.4. In reality, what will that be? So to get from 1 to 8.4, we multiply it by 8.4. So we'll do the same with the 50, multiplying by 8.4. So 8.4 multiplied by 50, that gives us 420 centimetres. So in actual fact, the room is 420 centimetres long. So what is the width? So the width again 
we got 6.8 on the plan. What do we do to get from 1 to 6.8? We multiply by 8.4, so we'll do the same to 50. So 50 times 8.4, and that gives us 50 times 6.8, 50 times 6.8, because we worked out 50 times 8.4 already. So 50 times 6.8, 340 centimeters so this was the the width so we'll now look at another question so we've got a another place we've got another place we've got a, another room so there we have plan and real life and the scale is one two 200 so the scale is 1 to 200 so that means that the units will be the same if we haven't cut the units now in real life this is 800 centimeters the length of the room is 800 centimeters so we'll need to draw it so that's in real life, which is 800 centimetres. So what have we done to get from 200 to 800? We've multiplied by 4. So we'll do the same thing over here. So times 4, that gives us 4 centimetres. So I'll draw that using the ruler on the centimetre side. So we start from 0, we go up to... Four. so that's the length and the width is 550 centimeters in real life what will it be in on the map so let's have a look 550 that comes under the real life and it's 550 centimeters centimeters so our answer will be in centimeters as well to get to 550 from the 200 what have we done so what have we multiplied by so i'll do the reverse 550 divided by 200 and that gives me 2.75 so i've multiplied by 2.75 so I will now multiply 2.75 by 1 or 1 by 2.75 which is 2.75 centimeters so I will draw that as the width so 2.75 2 and 3 quarters on the other side as well 2.75 you're often given graph paper or squared paper to draw this in because it's easy to do that so that's the length and that's the width so the important thing was to write the scale or the ratio first and then find out the information you're given is it the one on the map or on the drawing or is it the one in real life and put it on the right side like here we've got the plan so everything revolving around the plan will be on the same side and the real life will be on the same side as well the other thing to look at is the units if the scale doesn't have the units you give it the units that you want so if you're measuring in centimeters that's what it will be throughout. Both sides will be in centimetres.